I'm here at the Jardin de Plantes in Paris, which uh, apparently is meant to get exciting somewhere more around, you know, May or June, because right now, uh, I don't think even the fish are happy in here right now. It's kind of <laughs> out of season in this area. A few nice things in the middle we'll go see in a second, because uh, this part, uh, not so much, and the greenhouse might be exciting. So this is more like it. Ooh, look at them big old leaves. Now, if you're coming in here looking for flowers and stuff, this isn't going to be your ball game. This place is really just exciting because it's got so many different varieties of different trees and plants that are unusual for this environment. So these in here are obviously ones that you're only going to find around these areas. So definitely in the more tropical and hot regions. Otherwise, you're not going to see these guys around England very much or even in France. I did manage to find some nice flowers in this area. I really like these yellow and white ones here. Room overall, the greenhouse was really just meant for lots of cool greenery, lots of different interesting plants. They have a nice little pond with some fishies in it as well, which is cool. Also found some other nice leaves like these guys, pretty cool, I enjoyed them. And then this orange uh, flower blossom. Bing! Some other little ones as well. Yeah, but the greenhouse was really nice overall. Had these ones here that looked like a nice derivative of a peace lily. And then this one also looks like an orchid of some kind, possibly. Orchid friends, is this an orchid? I am not sure. It might be, though. It has that kind of style, that's for sure. But actually, my favorite area, I think, in the greenhouse here was this area, where all the desert uh, succulents and cacti were... Um, there was just something about them that just was really cool. I liked the way that it was set up and I liked all the different varieties they had. They had it really well labeled. You can see what each one was very easily. So it was, yeah, it was really nice in that respect that you were able to tell what every single one was. You could tell its species and um, they were all separate. Whereas in the main greenhouse, it's just, you know, everything's so overloaded. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell, you know, tree from tree, plant from plant. But these guys were wonderful. Had some aloe plants in there as well, which was really cool. But overall, the uh, gardens were actually created in 1626. Um, and uh, this it was uh, Louis XIII who helped create them. And originally they were supposed to be a medicinal herb garden. And that was until 1635, but they were originally known as the Jardin du Roi, the Garden of the King. And it was actually opened to the public in 1640. And uh, after things fell apart for a while, ooh, cool cactus, um, the Jean-Baptiste Colbert uh, took over control of the gardens and uh, perked things back up again. It wasn't until uh, 1693 that he got a nice team around him that helped create the gardens and turn them into a much better place from what they originally were. At the time that their holdings included like almost 7,000 specimens um, that they had used in the herbarium. But then once I went back outside, found some other really cool plants as well. Um, some nice flowers all along the way here. See, the, yeah, these guys ran all the way towards this wonderful building, which is actually a history museum. Yeah, so they had the history museum there, and uh, uh, this is, yeah, you can see these long rows of flowers. And then uh, from the greenhouse leading into the uh, natural history museum, on the outside is this beautiful pearlescent Win uh, windows or uh, glass work on it is very beautiful. I really liked it. 
But this guy here, the Comte de Buffon, was apparently responsible for, as the curator from 1739, and uh, he actually expanded the grounds and added a labyrinth and everything and helped to redesign it into what it more is today. But that's about it. That's uh, my wonderful video for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, you know, please go ahead and subscribe and like and share and hit that bell icon. And uh, we'll all be good friends and have a good time. But yeah, my friends, uh, catch you on the flip side. Till the next time, take care of each other. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.